Hey, bro, what are you doing? Listen to the Iron Eagle soundtrack. Hey, did you know that I got new SVS speakers in today? Let's get to it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the Hi Fi Brothers. Yeah, today we're going to talk about the SVS complete home theater system. Awesome. So, Ralph, this is actually part two of the SVS home theater system. Oh, yeah. Uh, we did our very first episode on this channel uh, doing a quick rundown of your bookshelves, your center channel, and your prime elevation speakers, but you've added a lot more components to your home theater yes. since then. Mm -hmm. So, now we're going to do a complete uh, home theater system with the SVS speakers. So we're gonna put a card up top so you can click that right now and watch that first one so that way you can kind of have a, a, a better reference for when we're going through some of these uh, some of these components and speakers just because uh, we're not gonna get as fully detailed with a lot of them like we did in the first video just to kind of help save on time. But uh, yeah, in any event, why don't you go ahead and just tell everybody what you've added. Oh, absolutely. Um, so what I've added was I added uh, the surround ultras in the back. Um, I also added a SB3000 subwoofer and I added another pair of uh, elevation speakers to my, my, my home theater system. So now you have two pair of elevation speakers. You have, you have a pair in the front. You also have a pair to the side of mm -hmm. where you're at normally sitting when you're watching uh, movies. Mm -hmm. So how has adding that extra pair helped with the Atmos? Well, Armando, um, I did have uh, in-wall speakers. Uh, they were spaced too far apart from my listening. So I wasn't really getting that, uh, that Atmos feeling. So I felt that, okay, well, let me get the, uh, the down-firing SVS elevations um, and place them you know, where my seating area is. And yeah, I've noticed a difference right away. All right, Ralph, so what's been the most impressive part of your home theater system? Like, what have you been the most excited about of, of all the SVS products that you have? What's the one that stands out the most? What stands out the most for me, honestly, is the, the center channel. That center channel, uh, for some reason, at low volume or high volume, it has very, very clear dialogue. It's been very, very impressive. The second best thing about my SVS home theater system um, would have to be the SB3000 sub. It's 800 watt RMS. It also has a dual band uh, voice coil, so it moves the sound pressure in and out pretty pretty good at 2,500 watt uh, dynamic. So yeah, you get that. I mean, they get that that huge punch, you know, for a um, for a small fo uh, form factor uh, subwoofer, which is awesome. Um, and it's sealed too. So I, this is my first time I've had a, had a sealed subwoofer, and and it. It hasn't really discouraged me at all. I think it's really an impressive subwoofer. All right, Ralph, why don't we say we do a quick demo of your uh, home theater system? Let's do it. All right, Ralph, we're going to get into the final thoughts. All the speakers you have by SVS the Ultra Series, they are exceptional. I absolutely love them. They're great quality speakers. They really know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, the bookshelf speakers are very impressive. I absolutely love them. The center channel, just like what you said, is the most impressive part of your home theater system. I mean, the, the dialogue and the sounds that come out of there is, is amazing, and it just blends in so well with those bookshelves. The surround sounds, are definitely different than what I'm used to. I'm used to, you know, just the normal, like, you know, bookshelf kind of speaker or satellite. But these have the, uh, what do you call that? The, the they're, they're a bipole, so they basically, you can have them firing all at one time or you can have them in dualette, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, and then there's also a dipole uh, uh, set up as well for those the surrounds, which is a very impressive. Yeah, and a quick shout out to SVS. Um, they're not sponsoring this video, but yeah, we reached out to them and we asked them about positioning the yeah. speakers and they said they're very forgiving speakers. You know, you can pretty much have them in the rear wall. You can have them on the side. The way you have them set up, I, I like them like that because it definitely feels like you're getting something from behind. Right. It's creating that, I think it's creating a better illusion. It Absolutely. Seems like. that's, and that's the whole idea is to create a better illusion. You know, you want your speakers actually to actually blend in with your 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 listening area yeah. and then the last thing is the sub the sub is extremely impressive closed or it's a sealed subwoofer yeah, it's sealed sub. and uh it's just 
the sound that the bass that it that provides just you would feel like you'd think you'd have two subwoofers that's and that's that's kind of what i feel like i feel like sometimes you have two subwoofers in a room but yeah, it's just that one it's all about the positioning too um some people like their subwoofers um behind them uh, some people like them in the front uh so, uh some people like them in the side the way i have it set up since i only have one subwoofer i have it in the corner uh facing you know towards the listening area so it blends in like i said with the whole room and it just gives it gives it the magic that it needs all right, Ralph, well, that pretty much concludes the video. Absolutely. So make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And if you have any comments about any of the products that we featured in today's video, make sure you leave those, and then we'll do the best we can to answer those for you. But as always, keep, keep it, it high fi, -fi.